Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello! It has been a minute since I've done a uh, favourites video, so I'm going to be covering pretty much obviously the start of this year, being February duh, and then Jan January I meant, <laughs> January to start off with, and then February, we are obviously now on March, so we'll be covering hair care, skin care, entertainment, and whatever else I can think of. So let's get started with hair care, and now I do have some um, pre-recorded videos to show that I actually do use these products because whenever I watch someone else's favorites video they just seem to talk about it and say how good it is which obviously they're being legit but I'm a bit more of a visual person I'd rather have people see that I am using up these products that I am really enjoying them so there will be some overlay videos and I just like shrink myself up, to, up into the corner of the screen so let's get this video started before my hair care for my facial care side of it, because I do start with my um, cleansing my skin, and as you will see in the clip, I do still have some spot treatments left over. Basically, I just rinse them off, obviously, to get things started. Usually, I either um, hose them down like, a few hundred times, or just you know, pick at it with um, a wet uh, scar sponge glove form, or I will use a towel. Either way, so once I've kicked off the um, residue of the spot treatment, I then technically I go in with. Uh, rose hip cleanser, but because sadly I have one out of that stuff, until I can get some more, I do use um, this Neutrogena cleanser, deep clean. It's technically my sister's, but just until I can afford um, to get the cleanser, because the cleanser ain't, uh, ain't cheap, it's about it's like $15 or something like that. So when I do have a lot more pretty pennies on hand, I will definitely reorder my uh, free order. Oh my gosh, I'll definitely repurchase myself a new cleanser. So, Rose Hip is definitely something that I have been using a lot. Um, these definitely have benefited to clearing up my skin. Using the Neutrogena while it kind of allows um, for spots to come back through again, um, especially when the chin, like one, I get one or two maybe in random spots on my face, but for the most part, it's usually um, my chin and my upper lip that cops a lot. But the Rose Hip definitely um, keeps the skin at bay and every area of the cleanser that I'm just using for the time being seems to uh, you know, pop up on my face. <laughs> Some cleansers uh, do the trick, others don't, no matter how much they moved about. So once I have completely finished um, cleansing my face, obviously with the cleanser, and I rinse off one final rinse, I then obviously um, towel dry. You'll see in this new shot now that I have already showered. Um, if I'm not really going to be wearing any makeup for the rest of the day, especially if I have no video plans. Um, I will chuck on some more spot treatment, or if I um, am happier to film later in the day, if that's the case, or if I end up going out later in the day, I will then still put, put some spot treatment on just to you know, cause target around any areas that still need the um, extra special attention. And then I will um, just catch the door about the rest of my day. I will eventually wipe it off, carry on put my makeup on, or just head out into town. I don't care if I'm browless and makeupless and public, I still have a face. So that is completely it for skincare, including um, the spot treatment one, which is um, the Glam Glow Mud Mask. For the most part, I do just use it as a, uh, a spot treatment. <laughs> also, for lips, once my um, entire skincare is completely over with, I do go and visit Nivea Lip Balm. There was a time ago, I haven't posted a video because I ended up just ended up disregarding it, but a time ago when I had this stupid idea of swatching every single lip shade that I own, my lips were obviously savage with me, and I was obviously having to use a series of coconut oil and just... Burt's Bees lip, uh, say lip balm, Burt's Bees lip balm, plus this one. And the funny thing is, um, this Nib Neutrogena, not, not Nivea, this Neutrogena uh, lip balm is what pulls through the most. And the funny thing is, when I was using Exploring Love just to um, wipe away the dead skin, my fingernail actually did a better job. <laughs> I have been using this Neutrogena uh, lip balm a lot, just to obviously moisturise my lips. We did just get out of summer, thank gosh, we are now in autumn. I've officially declared I do not like summer, <laughs> or winter for that matter. I actually prefer spring and autumn because they're like in between seasons. Anyway, so that's it for skincare and I do of course also go in with some of coconut oil just to moisturise my skin. If I'm not going in with that because it's in the bath and I'm too lazy to go grab it, for some reason I do keep reaching for this uh, hair serum. Oil to me, oil except for um, mechanic oil. Oil is oil, so they all do the same thing in the end. Add some hydration to the skin, so that is it for skincare. That is what I use to keep my skin decently clear. Like, I will still always have a spot or two. That's just my natural skin type. I naturally 
oily um, combination skin. Uh, sometimes I am just a little bit dried out, but for the most part, I am <coughs> I am a walking grease ball. <laughs> so on with hair care now. Obviously, I do just saturate my hair down a little bit, obviously. And then I go in with um, shampoo. I was using, as you see, the side clip, um, or I'm in the side clip now, but as you see in the main clip. I do sometimes use, um, or I did used to use the Pantene one because that was what was available at the time. But finally, um, you know, this was just hanging around and we never noticed it, but up until recently, um, I have used um, this shampoo a long time ago in the past and I loved it. It recently popped up out of the equator, so I thought, sweet, because I'm not really much of a fan of Pantene. Um, no matter what kind of Pantene it is, I just don't feel like it serves a purpose for me. It's nourishing coconut milk and it is one of the organic ranges one. It's the same as my conditioner, which um, I use this conditioner, this shampoo conditioner range in my um, the last blonde hair care routine video, and I'm trying to suppress hiccups. That's probably why I sound like a very smooth robot. So using this shampoo, um, I go in with it twice. It's technically a Tuesday as I'm filming this video, but each Monday I do wash my hair, so for the rest of the week I can just leave it alone. So I have um, thoroughly washed my hair twice with a shampoo. I do towel dry. I don't go in with conditioner or oil just yet because I have been using this amazing, amazing product. I was inspired to get this by Shannon XO. She um, in a get ready with me when she was just doing a voiceover. Um, she features this product. Obviously, then um, she would be buying it with her own money, but occasionally she would also be receiving it as like a PR thing. And I decided to give it a go because her hair was just looking amazing. She's also um, unnaturally blonde, like me, though she's probably naturally a different um, kind of brown than I am. I'm an olive or ash mousy brown, actually. Clearly, I am you know, rep and Barbie look these days. Um, she was using this price and her hair looked amazing from it, so I figured I may as well give it a try as well. And my hair has definitely improved a lot. Um, she was saying in her video that you can use this as a conditioner, but I found that once I rinse it out, my hair still felt freshly shampooed. So I go in with conditioner anyway. I mean, they say to go in with conditioner, but Shannon was saying that you can skip conditioner altogether if you want because this product works great um, as a conditioner and I just figured I'd play it a bit more safe and condition my hair um, anyway. I do condition my hair twice and so once the um, treatment has been lifting for 30 minutes, sometimes a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter, I then actually instead of just going through the fuss of stripping down once again and hopping into the shower, <laughs> I just leave my head over the tub and under the shower. I also leave my head under the tap but shower is somehow easier. So I just hose my hair right down, getting all the product out. I then condition twice. Um, first time I just run my fingers through and give myself a subtle massage. At this point in the clip, um, I kind of um, underestimated a bit. I was meant to... Uh, when I got around to the conditioning part, I was meant to readjust the tripod so that um, I could have the camera just facing me and you know, casually working the conditioner in. I put the conditioner in my hand a little bit too soon, so I had to hold this huge tripod. And you know, this was, I was using my sister's camera for their tip and screen. And of course, you know, go through and just let well, like that then I conditioned up through my hair, but eventually it worked out. So I conditioned my hair and then I just touched you guys down properly and continued on. Um, rummaging my fingers through my hair just to make sure that the conditioner is distributed evenly and then obviously I rinse out again and then I go in condition again just to make sure it's nice and combed through. I like to make sure that the you know, cuticle is nice and sealed off and there's no chance of um have any brittle feeling or anything like that because I also shampooed twice so then I obviously rinse that out and then I do to I do it towel dry just to really make sure that I'm my hair is thoroughly drying naturally and I give a towel dry for as long as I possibly can but if I've got somewhere to be or got something to do that involves um, the appearance of dry hair I will just dry off the last 10-5% left of my hair but I didn't this time because um, I was lazy <laughs> Uh, but I do tend to join in with the V05 um, heat protect spray. A lot of these things that I own are drug store related. Um, I don't go for a lot of um, expensive brands. I mean, yeah, technically expensive brands do work a lot better for the beneficial, beneficial and the benefits of the skin and hair, but it just depends on how you use a product. 
results in the results that you get for yourself. You don't have to use all these expensive products just because they say that it works better. Um, the expensive products that even work how as well as what Echo Store version does. So I use from Heat Spray. Plus the hair has completely um, been done and dusted. As you can see I just um, my hair is like completely dry now but I just basically stuck extensions up into a high pony. I do have a video on how I um now get this look, that is it for hair care, that is it for skin care, that is it for hair care, that is it for the overlay shots. So, entertainment time. I have been loving one particular TV series to the point where my sister actually groans like a demon and rolls her eyes like she's possessed every time I'm replaying this season. And it is The 100. I love it with a burning passion. I do occasionally watch it on my iPad. Technically I'm on season 2 but I guess I'm just taking a little bit of a break from it. Mostly because of these two other movies that I can't stop watching. But The 100 is basically um, a series based on people who were initially born up in space. Um, only because three generations earlier uh, the Will crap his pants. Basically a long time ago an AI released um, or hacked into government nukes. Um, hacking the system and releasing these nukes. And, irradiating the entire planet and for those who did survive they managed to escape the planet in time hence the arc three generations later anyone else hence Mount Weather and hence the ground so there are survivors on the planets but you know the arc just had no idea I mean they could see the planet but they couldn't see the life on the planet <laughs> well I saw my camera switch off just in time so the last thing you saw was the last thing you saw it's an amazing TV show is what my point is. So that's it for TV shows. Um, I do watch other TV shows as well, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Grey's Anatomy, My Zombie, Walking Dead. Oh, there's a few in there. I think that's it for TV shows on my part. I don't watch Game of Thrones, I don't watch Shadow Hunters, I don't watch The Flash, I don't watch Supergirl, I don't watch um, Riverdale. I know, it's all those excluded. What's wrong with me? But I'm just picky with what I like to watch what calls out to me the most. I was also watching Rain, but that came to an end. I guess due to budget and the fact that after Mira's execution, um, you know, they couldn't really continue the story much longer. So I believe that they could have because of her son James and maybe the life he takes on Queen Elizabeth and how much longer she lasts. Anyway, so that was like the other two shows that I was watching until they discontinued it. But other than that, 100 is what I'm obsessed with. Now for movies, I have been badly obsessed with Thor Ragnarok. Um, after I watched that, I just decided to rewatch the um, sort of series, but the sagas, I guess. So Thor, um, God of Thunder, then Avengers, the first one, because it goes into a bit more of um, depth on why Loki got arrested, even though it's painfully obvious. So then I, after the first Avengers, I then got back on track with the next one, The Dark World. Um, and then of course the one after that was Ragnarok, which is the funniest one. There was a little bit of a loss um, on some parts and secrets revealed. It is still so funny. The other movies that I have been strongly obsessed with is Poppy No Longer Healthy. Um, it was a film um, released back in 2005, but obviously probably filmed uh, two years prior. Is um, Red Eye, basically a movie with um, Rachel McAllen. Uh, Rachel McAdams and Killian Murphy. I thought his name was pronounced Cillian. I don't know, because C's can be pronounced as an S, but nope, it is pronounced Killian. I only learned that because of an interview, as in, I watched an interview on YouTube. This interview was based on the other, this other movie, he was in Red Lights with Sigourney Weaver, which is a really good movie. But if you haven't seen the movie, I obviously will shut up about it so I don't spoil it, but it is an amazing movie and I literally cannot stop rewinding and watching it. Another movie that I just recently watched was um, Vanessa Hudgens' Give Me Shelter. I cried for that movie and it takes a lot to make me cry. Congratulations Vanessa, you made me cry. <laughs> so that is it from entertainment to one TV show that I'm obsessed with and can't wait for season 5 to come out. Those are the two movies that I'm obsessed with. So health and food, well, health, I'm lazy and shit, but I'll be right back. I'm just casually walking around with a box of tea bags, nothing to be concerned about here. Favourite tea ever? Bushels. I've been really, really loving this tea lately. And because I keep getting this like stressed out teeth, um, draw line, what have you, I've also been cutting down on sugar. <laughs> Literally, I have one sugar in my tea. Just a fun random fact, so this is definitely going to be my favourite, um, hot drink to go for. Either that or Victoria hot chocolate. That's about it. <laughs> so that's just a few very random um, examples of food and drink. 
considering hopping into my phone back onto entertainment um music that i have been loving lately if that's in focus enough that album right there basically if you didn't quite catch that right is lewis from butcher babies their newest album i love this new album so freaking much and the album they've got burn the straw man lewis headspin karova hashtag i woke up like this the huntsman controller oceana Look what we've done, Panoma, Pomona, Shit Happens, uh, and Underground and Overrated. Such a good album. The other two albums I have is, of course, um, Goliath and Take It Like a Man. Keep on staring back to those songs. So that's it for music. <laughs> I've been loving Butcher Babies so freaking much. I'm quite the metal head. Not just because of the piercings that I have, but just generally, I'm heavy metal fan. Oh, and that's the other thing. We're not quite done yet. Uh, makeup loves. I definitely, um, the full foundation. I've definitely been loving um, my Maybelline fits me. Now, I know that that seems like I dream to say that now. Yeah, I did kind of forget about the, um, the whole what I love in makeup part because I'm so on track minded. But I definitely love Maybelline fit me. I was um, using Tarte Shape Tape for a little while, but you run out so quickly and it's so expensive to buy, so I love me some Maybelline Fit Me. I'm definitely bringing up my face right now. I've also been loving the uh, Laura Mercier powder, but I have run out of that. So I was just using my sister's um, Rainbow Match Perfect. And even though this product is technically a um, highlighter and contour stick, I have been using it as an under eye concealer. And sometimes I'll use the cream side to contour, but most of the time I have been loving this for my under eyes forehead and nose and chin just to make it more prominent even though I do actually have a noble face obviously but yeah sometimes I do also take it down to my nose but if I want to um contour a lot of the time I will just powder contour so for my brows I have been loving and this stuff is taking me forever to get through and finish but I have been loving the APH on Sarge of Beverly Hills to brow popping chocolates as well as my MAC Paint Plus Soft Ochre, which is a primer. I think this is still my first one, and I'm just hitting pan on it. As you can see, or if you can see, hitting pan. So maybe because also my sister sometimes uses it. As you can see, um, the polymer, which I don't know if you can see very well, but the polymer has gone down a bit, but I'm still nowhere near hitting pan. You will think with um, technically having shaved eyebrows and using a little bit more product to um, do my brows, I will be using other products a bit more, but that's not the case. As for palettes, this will not come as a surprise to anyone, especially if you have been watching a couple of my recent videos, but the Remix palette from Shanx O in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. Oh, I do obviously have her original palette, but um, this is a little bit more deeper in pink tone. And as you can see, it does have all the OG colours. This side is um, all the newer eyeshadow colours, and I absolutely love Holy Grail from a facial highlight and uh, sometimes a little bit of island glow. I do have island glow on the inner part of my eye and uh, lashes lifting. So I do use those two as either highlighters for my face or um, onto my eyelid. The palette that has just recently captivated my heart has been the, oh, I did it a little bit, but um, the Kristen Dominique Latte Palette. I do have a first impression. I will link that below if I remember to do so, otherwise just search my channel. I fell madly in love with it from the very start and I forgot to highlight my nose. I'm just quickly taking some of out of here. Let's give my nose a little bit of life. Kristen's um, Lasso palette is centered around uh, coffees, obviously, of different coffee flavors and styles. But um, in the palette, you have hazelnut, caramel, vanilla cream, mocha, pumpkin spice, espresso, macchiato, cream brulee, cold brew, and double shot. That's all the colors are there. I love this palette so much, especially from Vanilla Cream being a um, brightening under eye powder, which you can obviously use it as um, a different kind of powder. I definitely love Macchiato, or Macchiato, however you pronounce that, from a facial highlight. <laughs> so for lashes, I have been using um, a lot of uh, XO Beauty Party Stack and Naturals. These are the only two lash brands that I have. I love them both. As you can see, the bottom there, um, the Romantic. They were so turned into shit because of how much I have been using them because of how much I absolutely love them. I do have a new set on my eyes right now which are a lot more um, 
feathery and obviously more purposefully natural that I suppose if I just fix up a little bit of mascara um, they'll show through a little bit more. There's too many favourites in the party stack but that's the two lashes that's the two lashes I have been using mercilessly. <laughs> as for um, more natural sheen highlighters, one I am using as a mirror, like an antiquity screen, which is um, Lucent, and this one being Aurora. So I absolutely love this highlighter. It looks um, very, very um, powdery and sheen y when you swatch it, but as soon as you put it on, it's like a more of a um, a inner glow for everybody. It's not like a Jeffree Star, um, you know, face paint level of highlight. But um, I don't have those two highlights on me on my face today. I actually have um, Holy Grail and Macchiato as my facial highlight today. So yeah, that's what I've been loving for highlighters. So for lipstick, I have definitely been loving for locally. It's a nice, beautiful, um, kind of like a dusty rose shade. So this is what it looks like um, by itself. And the bottle, and this is what it looks like swatched. It's kind of like a very soft, warmy pink tone. So beautiful. It's a great lipstick for when you want a natural look, but you also want to give um, your lips just a little bit of colour. So I got it for my mum for Christmas. As for um, makeup brushes and stuff like that, I have definitely been loving all of EXO Beauty. Plus a never ending revisit to... It's Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Do It In A Brush. This one's obviously from Main Shadows and this one's obviously for blending. But I tend to use this one a lot more from shadows. I love this brush so much. It fits perfectly um, in your hand. It is small so you can definitely travel around with it. I've definitely been loving this brush so much. And of course when she's a bit fattened up, I definitely love EXO Beauty's uh, false finish match. I always use it to apply my foundation with and occasionally blend out my concealer. I have also been loving um, this makeup set that mum got me. It was a technical paper. So this mascara has definitely taken a lot of beauty grids by storm. The Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this so much. I use it all the time. I know I sound like I'm pushing an exaggeration, but sincerely, every video you'll see me using this mascara. So a lot of the time, I am using this mascara because it works beautifully. The one is, um, it does not, you know, skinny but it's not tight fat either so it fits um on the lashes just nicely it doesn't leave you the fat ones you always make a mess with no matter what the skinny ones you obviously have better luck with but this one's kind of like in between so it is a perfect perfectly good size so i love this mascara last blue although um lashes tend to lift up depending on the weather that you're in i have been loving this um thousand hour random um Last blue that I got from Priceline, which is like the OG um, Sephora or Mecca. So I love this lash glue. It's tiny, but I'm taking my sweet time getting to the glue because I don't always wear um, lashes. But I definitely love this blue. I have obviously used it to stick the lashes down. So I think that officially concludes this for um, January and February favourites and um, makeup and skincare and hair care and entertainment related so hopefully this is down to a short video if not i'm sorry but <laughs> at least this is informative and what have you so if there's anything else that i forgot i will definitely link it up not link it but share it below of course there was one other thing i completely forgot to mention that's the most obvious thing my extensions i have been loving my vp fashion hair extensions the ends are just slowly starting to um, fluff up but i love these extensions so much Thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye!